Welcome to Healthy Journey. Do you know what your options are when it comes to cancer treatments? It's a question that warrants contemplation. The world of medical science is constantly evolving and with it, the strategies for battling cancer are becoming more refined and effective. Two such strategies that have emerged as powerful tools in the fight against cancer are immunotherapy and chemotherapy. Both have their unique strengths and challenges. Immunotherapy, a relatively new approach, leverages the body's own immune system to combat cancer cells. On the other hand, chemotherapy, a time-tested method, uses potent drugs to kill rapidly growing cells, including cancer cells. Each of these treatments offers a different pathway towards the same goal, recovery. The journey through cancer treatment is personal and unique, just like each individual facing it. Today, we'll delve into these two powerful treatments, exploring their pros and cons to help you better navigate your path to recovery. Immunotherapy is a revolutionary approach that uses the body's own immune system to fight cancer cells. This innovative treatment has marked a significant development in our battle against cancer, opening new doors of hope for patients worldwide. So, how does immunotherapy work? Picture your immune system as an army of soldiers, always on guard to protect the body. These soldiers are equipped with weapons, or antibodies, that identify and destroy foreign invaders such as bacteria, viruses, and yes, even cancer cells. However, cancer cells are tricky. They can disguise themselves as normal cells, slipping past our immune system's defenses undetected. Here's where immunotherapy steps in. It trains our immune system to recognize and target these disguised cancer cells, enhancing our body's natural defense mechanism. There are different types of immunotherapy, each with a unique approach to combat cancer. Some boost the immune system as a whole, while others train the immune system to attack cancer cells specifically. Checkpoint inhibitors, for instance, are a type of immunotherapy that block proteins on cancer cells, preventing them from turning off immune cells. This allows our immune system to recognize and attack cancer cells more efficiently. Another form, CAR T-cell therapy, involves modifying a patient's T-cells, a type of immune cell, in a lab to better recognize and kill cancer cells. Once these modified T-cells are reintroduced into the patient's body, they multiply and go on a targeted mission to destroy cancer cells. Immunotherapy has proven to be a game-changer in treating certain types of cancer, such as melanoma, lung cancer, and kidney cancer. With ongoing research, it's anticipated that its application will expand to other types of cancer in the near future. Harnessing the body's own defenses, immunotherapy is a promising addition to cancer treatments. It's a testament to the power of the human body and the brilliance of medical science working together, offering a beacon of hope in the fight against cancer. Immunotherapy comes with several benefits. One of the most significant is its precision targeting. Unlike other treatments, immunotherapy doesn't wage a broad attack on all cells in its path. Instead, it zeroes in on the cancer cells themselves, leaving your healthy cells unscathed. This targeted approach can lead to better outcomes and fewer side effects. Speaking of side effects, that's another potential advantage of immunotherapy. Many patients find that they experience fewer side effects with immunotherapy compared to traditional treatments like chemotherapy. And when side effects do occur, they're often less severe. But the benefits of immunotherapy don't stop there. This treatment also offers long-lasting effects. Here's why. Immunotherapy works by teaching your immune system how to recognize and attack cancer cells. So, even after your treatment ends, your immune system retains this knowledge. This can provide long-term protection against cancer recurrence, making immunotherapy a powerful weapon in the fight against cancer. And while it's true that no treatment can guarantee a cure, the persistent protection offered by immunotherapy offers hope for long-term remission. This is a game-changer, especially for cancers that are known to recur. These advantages make immunotherapy a promising option for many patients. But like any treatment, it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. It's always important to discuss your options with your healthcare team to find the best approach for you. However, like all treatments, immunotherapy has its limitations. For starters, it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. Its effectiveness can vary depending on the type of cancer and the individual patient's immune system. While it's been revolutionary for some types of cancer, for others, the results have been less impressive. It's also worth noting that some patients may not respond to immunotherapy at all, or they could develop resistance over time. Another challenge is the cost. As a newer treatment, immunotherapy often comes with a hefty price tag. 
This can make it inaccessible for some patients, particularly those without comprehensive health insurance or in countries where the health system does not cover such treatments. Additionally, while immunotherapy generally has fewer side effects compared to chemotherapy, it's not without its drawbacks. Some patients may experience immune-related adverse events. This is when the immune system, while attacking cancer cells, also attacks healthy cells, leading to conditions like inflammation or autoimmune diseases. And let's not forget that it can take time for immunotherapy to work. The immune system is complex and slow to respond, so it might be several weeks or even months before a patient sees any improvement. However, it's important to remember that the field of immunotherapy is still evolving, with ongoing research and clinical trials aiming to increase its effectiveness and accessibility. While promising, immunotherapy may not be suitable for all patients or types of cancer. Now, let's shift our focus to chemotherapy, a treatment that has been a cornerstone in cancer care for decades. Chemotherapy, often simply referred to as chemo, is a type of cancer treatment that uses drugs to destroy cancer cells. But how does it do this? Well, chemo works by stopping or slowing the growth of cancer cells, which grow and divide quickly. Unfortunately, chemo doesn't discriminate between healthy cells and cancer cells, so some healthy cells get caught in the crossfire, which can lead to side effects. But let's take a step back in time to understand its origins. Chemotherapy was first developed in the early 20th century, but it wasn't until the mid-century that it began to take shape as an effective cancer treatment. Initially used to treat leukemia and lymphoma, chemotherapy has expanded over the years to treat a wide variety of cancers. And why is chemo so widely used? The answer lies in its ability to combat cancer in multiple ways. Some types of chemotherapy destroy cancer cells directly, while others prevent them from dividing and growing. And still, others work by boosting the body's immune system to better fight the cancer. So, where does chemotherapy fit into the treatment plan? That depends on the type and stage of the cancer, as well as the overall health of the patient. It can be used as the main treatment or in conjunction with other treatments like surgery or radiation therapy. It can be used before surgery to shrink a tumor or after surgery to kill any remaining cancer cells. Chemotherapy is administered in cycles with each period of treatment followed by a rest period to give the body time to recover. This cycle may be repeated many times over the course of weeks or months. Despite its potential side effects, chemotherapy has proven to be an effective tool in the fight against cancer. It can cure cancer, control its growth, or relieve symptoms, making life more comfortable for patients. Chemotherapy remains a common and effective treatment for a wide range of cancers. Chemotherapy comes with several advantages. First, let's talk about its wide applicability. Unlike some newer treatments, chemotherapy has a broad spectrum effect. It can be used to treat many different types of cancer, from breast and lung cancer to leukemia and lymphoma. This makes it a versatile and valuable tool in the fight against cancer. Next, we have the quick impact. Chemotherapy works by attacking rapidly dividing cells, including cancer cells. This often leads to a rapid reduction in tumor size, providing quick relief for many patients. Finally, let's discuss insurance coverage. While the cost of cancer treatments can be a significant concern, chemotherapy is generally covered by most health insurance plans, making it more accessible for a large number of patients. These advantages make chemotherapy a widely used and accessible treatment for many patients. Despite its side effects, it continues to be a mainstay in cancer treatment, providing hope and healing for millions worldwide. However, chemotherapy also has its drawbacks. One of the most common concerns for those undergoing chemotherapy is the side effects. This treatment can take a toll on the body, leading to fatigue, nausea, and hair loss. These are not just inconveniences. They can significantly impact a person's quality of life during and after treatment. Moreover, chemotherapy is not a precision tool. It works by targeting rapidly dividing cells, which includes not only cancer cells, but also healthy cells in the body. This non-specific targeting can lead to collateral damage, causing additional side effects such as mouth sores and low blood counts. Lastly, chemotherapy's effects may diminish once the treatment is completed. This means that while chemotherapy can shrink tumors and even eliminate them, there's a possibility that cancer might return. Despite its effectiveness, the side effects and potential for recurrence make chemotherapy a challenging treatment. In the end, the choice between immunotherapy and chemotherapy depends on various factors, both treatments come with their unique strengths and challenges. Immunotherapy, with its precision targeting and long-lasting effects, promises a future where we can treat cancer with fewer side effects. 
On the other hand, chemotherapy's broad applicability and quick impact make it a reliable and often accessible choice for many. Yet these treatments aren't one-size-fits-all solutions. The type and stage of cancer, your overall health and treatment goals, all play significant roles in determining the best course of action. That's why it's crucial to have open conversations with your healthcare team, who can help tailor a plan that fits your unique situation best. Remember, the world of science is always advancing, always evolving. With ongoing research and advancements, the future of cancer treatment looks promising. If you liked the video, please subscribe, give a thumbs up and share. Until next time, stay strong, stay informed, and together we can conquer cancer.